Hi everyone. So for today's art lesson, you are going to need paint, okay, a paintbrush, um, a bowl with water, some tissue, uh, tissues as well, some kitchen towel, a uh, piece of paper, and maybe if you do have at home flowers, um, you can just um, use those as inspiration. So I found these, they're not actually real, they are fake flowers but I thought they look so pretty and I'm just gonna have them here uh, because they might inspire me to create um, different kinds of flowers so I am going to create um, a sort of uh, flower uh, piece of art and I thought I'm going to start by uh, using some of the green paint and I'm going to trace the stems so stems coming from the bottom, they can be as thick or as thin as you want. The more you press the paintbrush, the thicker they will be. And how about you also make them into different sort of heights different sizes some can be short some can be a bit taller okay so those are my stems now i've used a paintbrush for the for those but for um in order to create the petals i am going to use my fingers because fingers are great for printing so i'm just going to use my index and I'm going to choose a color I'm going to go with purple and then as you can see just a little bit of paint on the tip of your fingers that goes a long way and I'm going to create some petals just by tapping tapping gently tapping Whenever you feel you're running out when it doesn't have the color that you were looking for, just go back for more paint. There we go. They look a bit like, could be lavender. Lavender has purple flowers or it could be Purple Veronica as well. Purple Veronicas are absolutely beautiful. So there we go. Look at how pretty is that. And it's as simple as using the tip of your fingers. And just pressing gently. You go around the stem. Make sure as well that as much as possible you're not covering that stem. Okay, now I really need to wash that finger. So I've got a little bit of water here. A bit of tissue. Okay, now these flowers are yellow so I'm going to create some big bold yellow flowers could be daffodils could be daisies um, yeah so I'm going to use my thumb for that because I am going to need bigger petals and my thumb is a lot wider than my index so as you can see I am choosing my finger according to the size of the petals so that also uh, takes thinking and we have to think about these things when we're creating a piece of art uh, what is it that we're using what is it for what is it that we're looking for so I want bigger petals so here I go I'm using my thumbs I'm going to use a bit of yellow 
and then I'm going to make maybe one, two, three, and four. And as you can see, I left the middle empty. I'm going to do the same here. One, two, three, and four. Now the colors can overlap, that's okay. Because when you go out in nature, Sometimes this happens as well. So it looks natural. Three, four. Maybe I'm going to make some smaller ones. One, two, three, four. Three and four. Just add as many petals as you like. You may want to have five instead of four. So that's down to you. It is your picture. Maybe you want to use different colors. Maybe you want to try a different kind of printing. You can use other resources for printing. So that's down to you. I'll let you choose. Maybe you can just find inspiration in some flowers you have at home. And you can create from that. You don't have to copy what Miss Vern is doing. Okay, now I'm ready to give my fingers a good wash. And the last thing I'm going to try and do is maybe I'm going to add a little bit of purple in the middle of those yellow flowers. I might even mix it with yellow to see what happens. Hmm. What colour will I get? I'm not sure. What is happening? I would say it's turning grey which is working perfect. I think I'm gonna stick with this one, with this gray color. And I'm going to use that for the center of my flowers. Okay, so there you go. They're wildflowers. Uh, as I say, you can do some fingerprinting, um, use a paintbrush or use other resources you have at home um, for creating uh, your picture. And yeah, the whole point about art is that you go wild and you express your feelings and you express yourself through um all of these different resources either paint watercolor whatever it is that you have at home so if you want to give this one a go and try it out go for it uh, i hope you really like it bye everyone